Assalamu alaikum. This presentation is on the Note flap, a very versatile and flexible flap that can be used in several areas in the face and the head and neck and elsewhere. The design of the flap is very simple, if not the simplest of transposition flaps, and the shape of the design resembles very much a musical note, hence the name. The design of the note flap is fairly simple. Starting with a circular defect, you want to draw a line tangential to the circle. You choose the line um, to lie parallel to a relaxed skin tension line or a certain anatomical landmark in the face or elsewhere. And this tangent would extend to a length of one diameter to one and a half diameter of the defect. And from the end of this line, you can draw another line at an angle just less than 60 degrees, say 50 to 60 degrees. That second line should have the length of the diameter of the defect. And that's about it. The shape is very similar to the musical note and the uh, flap itself is triangular in shape. It can be transposed to fill up the defect because it measures about three quarters of the area of the defect. So with a little stretch, it can fill it up and the uh, side of the flap can be closed primarily with no much tension. Once the triangular flap is raised, it can be mobilized and transposed to fill up the circular defect. The size of the flap is about three quarters that of the circular defect. So a little bit of undermining is required in order to facilitate the mobilization and the stretching of the uh, flap to fill up the defect. The major tension vector would be here at the base of the donor site. And here is where you want to place your first suture. Once this is sutured, it's not, di not difficult to close up the donor site primarily. And then you can place the tip of the flap anywhere around the circumference of the uh, circular defect to give the best possible results. If the flap is being used to fill up a defect in the cheek or the temple, um, you can undermine both the flap itself and the circular defect. But if the circular defect is close to an anatomical landmark like the nasal ala, then you restrict your undermining to the area of the flap itself with minimal undermining of the uh, defect in order not to distort the anatomical landmark. The technique is straightforward. Starting with a circular defect, you draw a line tangent to the defect itself, parallel to one of the relaxed skin tension lines or parallel to a landmark. Um, the, it measures about one to one and a half the diameter of the defect, from which you extend another line measuring about the same like the diameter of the defect. The lesion is then removed and the triangular flap is mobilized. Then it can be transposed to fill up the defect. Here is where you have the major uh, tension vector, and this is now uh, sutured. The uh, remaining is to find the best position for the tip of the flap to rest, to be sutured in the, uh, along the circumference of the defect. And once this is secured, you end up with the final shape resembling a question mark. On considering the design and the position of the flap, one should remember the final shape of the sutured line. It resembles very much a question mark. You want this uh, stem of the question mark to be parallel to relaxed skin tension lines and you consider where to place the circular part in relation to anatomical landmarks like the ala of the nose or the ear lobule, for example. For every circular defect, you can have uh, 
tangent lines parallel to the relaxed skin tension lines in four different positions. And you choose carefully between these four different positions, two above and two below, uh, one on the right and one on the left. And you choose, for example, this one because you have more skin here or more elastic skin. Then this is where you would design the uh, tangent line and the second line that is angled by about 50 or 60 degrees from it. This would be the shape of the flap before it is raised, resembling a musical note. And this would be the shape of the final sutured line. Uh, it resembles here an inverted question mark. So that's the other concentration in the design. While you would want to place the shaft of the question mark parallel to relaxed skin tension lines, you want also to consider the curvilinear part of the final scar in relation to things like the nasal ala or the ear lobule or other anatomical landmarks in the face. And these are examples to where you have placed the curvilinear part of the question mark around the ear lobule or in relation to the nasolabial fold or beside the nasal ala. Remember that if the defect is very close to an anatomical landmark, then undermining should be uh, basically around the flap itself with only limited undermining around the defect. The note flap is similar in some aspects to another transposition flap called the square peg into a round hole. This was a variant of the rhomboid uh, flaps. There are some differences. Uh, the important difference is, is that in the square peg into a round hole described by Quava, the diameter of the uh, circular defect is extended to the outside by two thirds the length of the diameter and from there you get the second line. So it's actually one of the diameters of the circular defect, not a tangent to it. And because of this design, you end up having a parallelogram type of a, of a flap or a rhomboid type of a flap rather than triangular. So the end result after suturing would be a straight here. And this will be the uh, rhomboid shape a flap in position. And this will be the donor side closed. This is to illustrate the differences between the two flaps and this square peg into a round hole type of a rhomboid flap. You extend the diameter rather than a tangent to the outside, two thirds of the length of the diameter equal uh, limb here again to two thirds of the diameter. Then you raise up a rhomboid rather than a triangular flap and you still have the major tension at the base of the donor site. This is where you want to place your first suture. And then you want to secure the two corners of the rhomboid into the defect. This flap is about two thirds rather than three quarters of the size of the defect and need to be stretched a little bit to fill it up. So by this, we come to the end of this presentation on the node triangular transposition flap. Salam alaikum.